In this video, I'm going to demonstrate some new Web Assistant functionality that was introduced fairly recently, specifically the ability to launch one piece of Web Assistant content from another piece of Web Assistant content. And I'm going to demonstrate this using a particular scenario of what's new, which I think is a very, very good use of this new functionality. So I'm in my standard S4 HANA system here, and I have Web Assistant running. And I'm going to go to the What's New page. Now, What's New is where you can highlight new functionality or new training or new help content to draw users' attention to it. And you can have messages displayed at the top of the screen letting them know that there's What's New content available. You can open the What's New page automatically. A lot of flexibility with there. But the idea is that you're showcasing new content and telling the users about something new. The problem with this is that it's really designed to be throwaway content. Whatever you create on the What's New page, the intention is that at the end of that new period, if you like, it's basically deleted out of there. Now, that's not particularly helpful if you've gone to the trouble of creating a new guided tour to show some new functionality. You want to highlight that for the first two weeks or a month after the functionality has been introduced. But after that period, it just becomes a regular guided tour. You still want to have that guided tour to show people the functionality, but you really want it just as a regular guided tour on the guided tours page. However, it doesn't really work like that. And I'll show you that by going into the manager and editing this particular guided tour. This is one I created earlier. If I launch this guided tour, you can see that it's basically going to show me how to create an export order for a customer. And you can see I've put a text in here that says what's new edition, because this is being launched from my what's new. Normally I wouldn't put that in there. I'm just showing you this because I want to contrast it with what we see next. So I have this guided tour in here. And I'm going to go into edit on it. And then from there, I'm going to display it in the manager workspace. Now, once that's displayed, one of the first things you'll notice is the name of it. This has the title of the guided tour, but it's followed by an exclamation mark and what's new. This indicates that this is what's new content. And that's what makes it appear on the what's new page. You might think that if you don't want that to appear on the What's New page anymore, you just want it to appear on the regular Guided Tours page, you could just come in here and delete that. But that's not the case. If I go into Edit This, it will launch the web editor for me. And if I select any screen on that, you'll see that in the name of that, I've also got this What's New. And that's there for every single step all the way through my Guided Tour. So there's a lot of other places where I'll possibly need to change it to try and force it to be displayed on a standard guided tour page as opposed to the What's New page. And it's all a bit too much effort and a bit prone to errors. If you miss one, things will go horribly wrong. So this is not the best way of doing this. Again, the intention is that the What's New content is thrown away at the end of the What's New period. So I'm going to close down my editor here, come out of Manager, and I'll show you a better way of doing this. I'm going to show you how we can create a guided tour on the standard guided tours page and then link to it or launch it from the What's New page, but it won't be a What's New guided tour. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete this guided tour from my What's New page. From within here, I'm just going to remove tour and that guided tour has now disappeared. I now have nothing in my What's New page. Now what I'll do is I'll go and create that same guided tour with all the exact same steps, but under my guided tours page. And I've actually gone away and done that already. It's this one here, sales orders for export customers. And if I go and run that, you can see that this one says it's the guided tours edition. The other one said it was the what's new edition. This is just to emphasize that it is a completely separate guided tour. So I wouldn't create both, obviously, normally. I just create it under Guided Tours to start with. Now, this Guided Tour here on my Guided Tours page, I want to launch that from my What's New page. To do that, I need to know its UID. And the easiest way to get to that is to go into Edit on that particular Guided Tour. And then I'm going to just display it in the Manager Workspace again, same thing as we just did. But here, all I need is this ID that's shown in the URL already. I can see at the end that that's my project. So I'm just going to copy that from there. 
If you're really not sure what you're looking at in the URL, you will find that that appears in the header right here when that project is displayed. That's exactly the same UID. That's the only thing that we need out of this. I'm going to close this down now, back to here. That's all I needed from this guided tour. So I can come out of the editing on that now and go to my What's New page. And this is where I now want to link to it. So I'll go into Edit. And from here, I want to create a new help tile. And from within here, I can give it a tile title and a tile description. And I'm going to enter some bubble text for it as well. And this is the crucial part because this is where we want to launch our new guided tour from. However, I can't do it from this edit panel. I expect in a future release, we'll see an option to do that from this insert menu here. But for now, I can't do it from here. I have to go into the web editor. So I'm going to apply, save my changes here to make sure that they're saved to manager. And then I'm going to go into the manager web editor. Now this is the editor for that help project. I'll go and find my new tile within that. And here is the text that I entered. And right here's where I want my link. So I'm going to click to go into edit on this. And right here is where I want my link to be. Now, on this insert object menu, I do have the option to insert a link. And from there, I have a bunch of options down the left-hand side here. The two new ones that were introduced recently are App Link and Web Assistant Action. It's the Web Assistant Action one we want here. So I'm going to select that, and I get a few options down the side here. And the important one here is the link. This is where I want to tell it, when someone clicks on this link, go and launch this particular guided tour. That's done using the Web Assistant API, which SAP have just opened up for us to have access to. That's actually all done under the banner of Help4, which is the technical name for it. So here I need to type help 4api and then the command that I want to execute, which in this case is start project, case sensitive, small s, big P, camel case. And then I need to give it parameters onto that command. So parameters are always in parentheses. And here's where I want to tell it to launch my particular guided tour. I copied the UID earlier, so I need to put that in here. But it needs to be in single quotes. So I type a single quote and then paste the URL that I copied earlier. Now I close my quotes. That's the end of that parameter. There's one more parameter, which I'll separate by a comma. And that says whether you want to launch this guided tour only if it's been published which is a parameter of true, only if it's not been published, which is a parameter of false, or launch that guided tool regardless of whether it's been published or not, which is all. And that's the one that I'm going to use here because I know that I've not published this one. And I'm going to close my brackets there because that's the end of my parameter list. That is my full command, help for dot api dot the command and then a parameters list in brackets. I'm going to type in a tooltip here just for the fun of it. But that's all I need to do here. Make sure I get that link correct. Click OK. Come out of the text editor. Save my changes here. Close the web editor here. Now, important. If you ever change anything in the web editor, when you come back to your application screen, make sure that you refresh it. Click the Reload This Page button. That will go and get that latest copy from Manager, which is where you just changed it. Now that will drop you out of Web Assistant, so you need to go back into Web Assistant. I'm going to go to my What's New page, and I'm not in edit mode, I'm in display mode, so here's my help tile. Click on that, I get my help bubble displayed with my link in it now. And you see when I hover over it, it's got my tooltip of launch tour. Now when I click on this, it will launch that guided tour for me. And you can see it says it's the guided tours edition one here, so it's not using that What's New one. And this works just like any other guided tour because it is effectively just any other guided tour. And when I close that down, I'm still left in my What's New page. So what I've done here is I've managed to launch content that exists on another page of my carousel, in this case, my guided tours page, and in particular, this sales orders for export customers guided tour. And I've launched that directly from my What's New page. Now, the advantage of doing this is that at the end of that new period, when this is no longer considered new content, 
all I need to do is come in here and delete this particular help tile. And that has absolutely no effect on that guided tour. The guided tour still exists right in here, just like any other regular guided tour. So that means that this guided tour will be available for the life of the system and not just for that initial period. And I've not really had to do anything to move it from what's new to the guided tours page because it always existed on the guided tours page and not on the what's new page. So I think this is a very nice use for this particular bit of new functionality. There are a lot of other things that you can do to open particular help tiles, to open or close the carousel, to go to a particular page on it, to launch the learning center, etc., etc. You can find a list of all of those things that you can do on the Enable Now Wiki, which is enablenow.wiki. And if you search for the link page, you will find all of these things listed on there. Hope you found that useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and there will be more interesting things coming soon. Thanks for watching.